Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new H&M haul. It's been a little while since I've filmed one of these videos but before I jump in, I do just quickly want to say one thing. I was 100% one of those annoying girls online that was constantly talking about how excited they are for autumn, winter and for cosy season and everything that that entails. Yes, I am one of those people. Um, so for those of you that find that annoying, you might get a kick out of this because the weather has taken a turn in the UK and, and yeah, two days of cold weather and I have a rotten cold. So that's karma. That is karma for me wishing away summer. So yes, I have my hot water and lemon drink seeing me through this video, but I just wanted to let you know, in case I am a little bit nasally or sound a little bit different or I have the odd little sniffle, I'm really, really sorry in advance, but that is why. Now, I'm also gonna say that I have done a big haul here, but I have ordered some bits um, with the intention of not keeping them. You'll notice throughout the haul, there's a few things where I've bought like a couple of really similar items, purely because I was really indecisive when I was um, shopping online and I couldn't decide between things. So yes, there are a few things to get through, but some of the items are very similar because yeah, I wanted to see which one I preferred. But anyway, enough chatting from me. I'm gonna jump straight into this video now and show you what I bought from H&M. Just a heads up guys, there is a lot of knitwear. First up, just look at the color of this. How beautiful is this chocolate brown knit? Now I have, a camel jumper that I absolutely love. I get so much wear out of it. I know the colours and the fabrics that I reach for going into the autumn winter and these colours just really come through for me at this time of year. Now my camel jumper, it's a lot paler and I just love the richness of this. I think it's really, really beautiful. I think it'll look gorgeous um, with trousers, skirts, maybe faux leather shorts and boots. But I also think this will look just as good with blue denim, some nice boots, gorgeous jackets underneath blazers. I mean, can you really have too much knitwear in your wardrobe? I don't think so. So I had to add this to my collection. But the way I'm going to do this video as well, guys, a lot of you said you preferred this way of filming. I'm gonna show you the items, just FYI, as I'm, as I'm filming this, I've not tried any of this on. I'm gonna try it on in real time with you so that you can see it on and actually get my first impressions as well. And then I can let you know if I'm gonna keep it or send it back, but I think this is gonna be a key. What is the material of this? I think it's a mohair. A certified mohair, I will say, it does feel like it may have the potential to be itchy, so, I don't know, I'll let you know when I try it on. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you this on without literally blending into my door in the background, but yeah, this is just lovely. I am, ooh, what was that bang? Sorry guys, I think that was just our neighbors. They've got the builders round. So sorry if you heard that loud bang then, but anyway, this is the jumper on. Yeah, it's just, great um i will say it's not um it's not actually that itchy i thought it would be but it's not i've got nothing on underneath this i've not even put a top underneath it's not at the point where i'd consider it unwearable um yeah it's i personally don't find this particularly itchy it's not a soft jumper though it is on the more rough um rough side on the in, on the inside of it i will say um, but by no means do I think this is itchy. But yeah, I, I'm in love with the colour of it. I love the sleeves on it as well. That kind of oversized, if I just come up closer. I love the oversizedness of it. Yeah, love this. I think the length is really nice as well. I did stay true to size. So you could oversize if you wanted it longer, but I like this. I know I've got leggings on with it now, but if I did have trousers, you're not gonna have to tuck in and disguise loads and loads of fabric. Um, so yeah, this is great. I think this is a definite keep. Okay, how cute is this cream little jumper dress? I just love a jumper dress at this time of year. I love how you can dress them up with like a heeled boot or dress them down, wear them with some tights and flat boots. I just get so much wear out of them. I love how this, um, I'm imagining wearing this maybe underneath uh, my trench coat with some brown, brown leather boots or black leather boots. I think it'll just be gorgeous. I like the fact that it's not, um, it's not fitted. 
it's it's not oversized but it's got room and you could definitely add a belt with this i think um to kind of give it a little bit of a different look but i think i'm gonna like this guys i've got my usual size size small oh did i mention the size of the first one i think yeah the first jumper is also a size small um, but yeah, I think I'm going to like this on. Now, I know this belt doesn't go with the bottom half of the outfit, but it was the nearest one that I had to hand. I just wanted to see quickly what this would look like um, with a belt around it. And I think you could definitely add a waist belt, add a little bit of um, a little bit of structure, which I would probably do if I was going to wear it like this with the kind of leggings and boots vibe. I would perhaps prefer it to be left... Um, as more of an oversized look like this if I didn't have the leggings on. Um, I am going to quickly just take the leggings off just to see what it does look like as just a dress. Much prefer how this looks without the belt and um, without the leggings. So I'm just wearing it here obviously. I've kept the boots on but you can just see a little bit of leg. This is definitely how I would personally wear this and maybe Maybe with a trench coat over the top or a nice um, like woolen um, coat depending on the weather but even just like this I think if you pop the bag on and wear it as a oh sorry about that light the sun but yeah maybe with a little crossbody bag yeah definitely an easy to wear throw on jumper dress I really do like them in this style and they're just a little bit baggier and a bit looser I just think they're sometimes a little bit a little bit more wearable than anything too tight and fitted. I just feel like you still get that cosy oversized jumper vibe. Um, but yeah, with, with a little bit of leg. While I'm talking about jumper dresses, I had to get this one in black. Black is just a classic. I love wearing all black outfits. I think this will look gorgeous with some black tights, black boots, maybe a black leather jacket or an aviator jacket when the weather gets a little bit colder. I think these are just great. They're also a really great option if your workplace office allows it. Um, to dress up for work, you can make these look very smart. Obviously, as long as they're not too short and quite of a, like of a modest length. This is like the perfect length. It's still shorter than you need, but it's not up here you're not going to be flashing your bum wearing this so i do think these um jumper dresses also can make office friendly outfits as i said if your office allows that i know i'm going to be reaching for this all the time uh, and i picked this up in a size small okay black jumper dress on i like this um very similar to the cream one i'd say um if i was being really really picky if you are torn between the two jumper dresses and you just want to purchase one, personally I'd go for the cream one. I just prefer the fit of it. The length is brilliant. It's not too short, not too long, really great to wear with knee-high boots. Um, this one has a little, well you can see there, sort of like slits there on the wrist area. Now again, this is not anything that I would look at. I wouldn't look at this and, you know, not buy it because of these but just being really picky i don't like where they put the slits there i feel like it kind of just draws attention to your hands it just makes your hands look really big does that make sense i just felt there was no need for that i'd rather them have left that and maybe just done a tapered sleeve where it'd gone a little bit more fitted and being like that and that would have been much more flattering i don't really know why they chose to do that just something that i noticed but anyway i probably won't be sending this back i think it's a great great affordable jumper dress just to throw on and um, yeah so i will probably be keeping both of these now as i mentioned earlier with the jumper dresses i love wearing boots so i saw these on h&m and i don't know i just thought these looked really really lovely just i'm gonna bring them a little bit closer a pair of black boots but you can see they've got that little Bring them here that little sort of kitten heel so they're not too high i don't think these are going to be uncomfortable to walk in but they just add that little something something rather than always wearing a flat shoe so i wanted to try these i don't know um what they're going to be like on but we we shall see i think you know looking at them like that i really don't think you'd be able to tell sort of where these are from i do think they give off a little bit more of an ex more of an expensive vibe 
um, than what they actually cost. Um, they're very plain, very minimal. I just feel like these will go great with my like jumper dresses, with shorts. Like I just think these go lovely. I mean, look at that. These boots with the jumper dress made with a nice cross body bag, a nice big coat. You just can't beat this combo in my personal opinion. Okay, now I did pick up a couple of pairs of jeans simply because I really didn't know how these were gonna fit when I tried them on. So they're both very, very similar in style, slightly different in color. So I've got these washed black jeans. Now what are these actually classed as? Tapered regular waist, that's what they're called. They almost basically look like a mom jean to me. Um, but I love the wash of them. I really love this, wearing these kind of washes in the autumn, winter. But yeah, I'm going to see how these fit. I did pick these ones up, but then I also grabbed these. So you'll be able to see very, very similar, except these are definitely more of just a jet black colour. These are the vintage mom jeans. So ultra high waist, ankle length, loose fit. Now, to me, holding them both up here on the camera, I don't know if you guys can tell any difference at home, they both look like they'd be a similar fit, but the proof is in the pudding when I try them on. So I'm going to try both of these on for you now um, and then let you know. Oh, I hope I don't end up loving both. I hope there's a definitive one pair that I prefer, but yeah. Okay, I've just lowered you down so that you can hopefully see the full length of the trousers. But um, yeah, first up are the lighter pair. Now I, first of all, love the fit around the waist. They're not too tight. They're actually a really lovely high-waisted fit. And um, these are classed as the tapered um, jeans. I'd say they're pretty straight. They're definitely, a, they're the tiniest bit tapered at the bottom. They probably go like the tiniest bit more, more slim towards the bottom, but not, not by a lot. Um, personally, if I was to grab these off the shelf and didn't know what they were, I'd class them as straight leg jeans. Um, but no, I actually really like the fit of these. I've just popped them on with just a black t-shirt and some black boots, just so that you can get the full view without anything too distracting. Um, on the back, I think they're quite nice. Um, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not the most amazing pair of jeans I've ever owned, but I feel like these do do the job um, that I'm looking for, so yeah, I don't hate these. I'll see how the other pair compare, but yeah, I'd say these are pretty good. Okay, and then these are the black jeans on. Now, I just feel like I prefer the fit of these ones, and I can't quite put my finger on why. Um, I'd say they are slightly more fitted. Uh, they definitely, um, they finish... Um, they're a shorter jean than the other ones, and I don't know if just where these jeans finish on me, which is kind of perhaps just above the ankle, I just find that quite flattering. I feel like it gives that sort of slim leg illusion, um, yeah, because it allows the shape of like your slimmer ankle out of the bottom. Does that make sense? Whereas the other ones just finish a little bit too wide, and because they're not a wide leg jean they're neither here nor there. I hope that makes sense. I, let me know what you think. I personally think these just look just that little bit more of a better fit and the fit that I was looking for. So for me, these are the winner. They fit lovely around the waist. If anything, these fit perhaps better around the waist. They're slightly more snug, but not in a, they're not too tight by any means, but I don't know, I thought they hug they hug the right places. Um, yeah, I think it's the vintage mom jeans. Is it the vintage mom jeans? I think that's what they're called. Yeah, I think these are the winner for me. But yeah, sometimes I watch this footage back and they look different on camera. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, next up, I couldn't resist getting this. Now, just as a little tip when shopping on H&M, most of you guys will probably already know this, but when you're on the H&M website, in the little search bar, just type in premium. So on H&M, they have a premium range. Now, admittedly, it is a higher price point, but if you want the good stuff, that's where you've got to go. So this, uh, I got this from the H&M premium section. It's a beautiful, neutral cashmere t-shirt. I just thought this was such a great option to have in the wardrobe. Perfect basic for this time of year. 
I love my t-shirts anyway, but I thought having this option just as a little bit smarter than maybe like an oversized baggy jumper. Um, as I said, just a smarter option. I think this will look great tucked into trousers, jeans. I just love how it's that perfect hybrid between casual t-shirt and, you know, baggy oversized jumper. And then you get this. It feels beautiful. Like the quality of this feels so soft. I already know this is going to be so nice and comfortable. Um, I got my usual size of a size small. Um, I think this was probably the most priciest piece that I purchased, but I can definitely feel that it just feels so gorgeous. This is honestly the softest fabric ever. This feels so, so nice on your skin. Like, oh, it's just such a lovely material. I really like this. I've just popped it on just with some black, sort of like tapered trousers and some slingbacks just um, to show you it as more of um, a kind of workwear, like office style look. I just, yeah, I really, really like this. Really great top just to have in the wardrobe this time of year. I think, as I mentioned earlier, I think this would also look just as nice with a wide leg trouser as well. It's just, oh my God, this fabric, I know I can't stop. I can't stop touching my arm. It's just, it feels so, so lovely. A really great, as I said, a great basic and yeah, I can't really say much more than that, to be honest. Now, you know autumn winter is coming when the cable knit starts coming out. And I will admit, I was really hoping that this cable knit jumper was going to be long enough to wear as a jumper dress. But when I got it out of the packaging, yeah, it's really not going to be long enough to wear as a jumper dress. It's just that few inches too short, unfortunately. Now... Depending on how this looks when I try it on, I might still keep this anyway, just as a gorgeous cable knit jumper, maybe for the more um, colder months for the winter time. I did get a size medium because, as I said, I was hoping it would be big enough for a jumper dress vibe, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes when it's on. In terms of the quality, it feels lovely. Like, this is such a beautiful knit. I love the cable knit design on it. Feels lovely and soft, doesn't feel itchy. I feel like I might end up keeping this one anyway because I feel like, you know, cable knit is just, it's just a classic, isn't it? Let's be honest. Okay, I absolutely love this. I know I wanted this to be a jumper dress, but I don't even care. I actually love it. I love this length. It's just that right length where it, it's just too short to be a jumper dress. But I love that it covers up um, like my hips and just the tops of my thighs. Covers my bum. So really flattering. It makes your legs look super slim when like jumpers fit like this and you wear them with leggings. I love it. I love the classic cable knit design. If I come up a little bit closer. This is just, it's that jumper, isn't it, that you stick on on Boxing Day. You know your Boxing Day jumper where you're just on the sofa eating the rest of the chocolates. This is that jumper, but you can't beat cable knit. I'm going to try and fit myself in the full frame so that you can see me. I've just popped on some um, like sort of riding style boots with some leggings. But yeah, this is literally how I would wear this. I would just probably add a nice black um, handbag, maybe a coat if it was really cold. But yeah, I really love the fit of this. Again, the sleeves, really like the sleeve length on this. I don't feel the need to roll them up. I think they look really nice, as you can see with my jewellery. Yeah, this is a win for me. Definite yes. Right, the next couple of things. Oh, I just realised there's a lot of knitwear in this haul, isn't there? Oh well, it is the season, guys. Next two items are fairly similar because, again, I wanted to see how these looked in person and how they fit. So, won't be keeping both of these. So, you guys let me know which ones you, well, which one you prefer. First of all... Great staple to have in the wardrobe. Gorgeous grey. It's kind of got a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a funnel neck detail. Gorgeous grey, oversized jumper. I have only got a dark grey jumper. I wanted a lighter one. So this is the one I went for. Now, I did also grab this one. So let me just quickly show you this. This one was um, a more pricier version. As you can see, this one just has a round neck. It doesn't have the kind of turtleneck or funnel neck, I should say. And this one is a wool slash alpaca blend. So 
I will say this one feels, this one feels nicer. This one feels better quality. It doesn't feel itchy. This feels like it will be better. I do quite like the round neck as well with, I like the option of these jumpers to be able to throw them on over um, a shirt and, you know, have the collar of your shirt kind of peeking through. I will say looking at them on the hangers, I feel like this one kind of has my heart a little bit more. We'll see though when I try them on. I got this one in a size small. So let me know guys, quickly pop a comment down below. Looking at them like this, which one do you prefer? And now I shall try them on. I apologize if the light keeps changing by the way. The sun can't make up its mind whether it wants to come in, go out. I don't know what it's doing, but um, yeah. I've popped on the first gray jumper. Uh, something I forgot to mention, it has got quite a high like slits in the sides there. So yeah, you'd have to probably make sure you're wearing something high waisted or at least um, something underneath if you didn't want any sort of flesh on show. I like the length of this. Um, sleeves are okay. I don't like the neck on it and I'll show you why. Now, I have folded it over um, at the top, which I know it looks absolutely ridiculous. You're not supposed to wear it like this, but because if I wear it like this, the way it's supposed to, in the funnel neck, I know this probably maybe looks okay. I don't know what it's looking like on camera. I've looked in the mirror. It's just that little bit too, it's not a chunky enough knit where this looks good. I just feel like it kind of looks like I've got a neck brace on. I'm not, think, I'm not finding it flattering and I'm actually finding it super annoying because it's, it's that material where it's kind of clinging to my neck. I kind of feel like somebody is choking me. I know that's really overdramatic, but I get really irritated with things around my neck and I just know this is not something I could wear all day and be comfortable in. Yeah, it would just really, really aggravate me and I don't particularly think it looks that great like this, so... Yeah, I think this one is going to be a no. Okay, straight away, this um, is much more comfortable. It's obviously a round neck, so I've got nothing on my neck, um, but there's there's room. I think you could wear this and just have a peek of like your t-shirt sticking out over the top or the collar of a white shirt. That would look really, um, really smart, really nice. Um, and I prefer the length of this. I like that there's no slits in the side it's a bit like the um a bit like the cream one it's long enough at the front and the back yeah and i do actually really love the color of it i love the um kind of texture on this i think it's really really nice yeah i think that's um i'm glad i tried both of these on now but yeah i think it's a definite win for this gray jumper in my opinion let me know what you think but yeah even when it's just when it just comes down to comfort, I definitely feel like this one is the winner. So while we are on the grey scale, I have also bought some grey trousers. Gosh, these could do with a steam. I do apologise, but I don't like steaming things before I know for certain that I'm going to keep them. You know, just in case I burn them or anything stupid. But uh, yeah, these definitely need a steam they're not looking great straight out of the packaging i'm not gonna lie hate it when i buy things and they're overly creased because sometimes i can't see past it and i'll put them on and they just don't look as nice but anyway very similar to the jeans i wanted some more like more of a tapered trouser i've got plenty of wide leg trousers and i thought these would just be a really great smart option to wear for the autumn winter for going down to london for meetings just when I need a slightly more smarter vibe, um, but I just don't want to wear wide leg. So yeah, I just realised I hadn't got a basic pair of grey tapered trousers. So I'm hoping these fit okay. I believe, yes, I sized up in these. So I've got a UK size 10. I am usually a UK size 8. All of the, um, what do I call it? All of the reviews online were all saying that these came up small and to be fair track record of buying these kind of um, trousers from H&M they are always quite tight around the thigh and the waist I find so yeah I'll be interested to see how these look on okay now obviously these trousers need a good iron but I will say the comfort level of these trousers is up there these would be a great addition to your workwear 
wardrobe. If you're looking for a really great pair of trousers um, just to wear over the autumn, winter, even in the spring because of the light grey colour, I think these could be the ones. They're super affordable and yeah, I just feel like these are so comfortable. They're like elastic, they've got, um, they're elasticated slightly at the back. So it's super comfortable around the waist. They also have belt loops. So um, you could add a really gorgeous black belt to these, um, which will obviously just make them look more expensive. But yeah, in terms of the fit and the comfort level, I really, really like these. Can you see the bottoms of them? So um, yeah, they're obviously um, tapered at the bottom. For reference, I am five foot eight. So this is where they finish on me. I'd say I have pretty long legs, so yeah, I really like the length of these on me. One thing I would say though, definitely 100% size up. These are a size 10. I'd say I am pretty true UK size 8. I can almost guarantee every time I buy something in an, in an 8, it will fit. Um, but yeah, as I said, I did see online some of the reviews that said these come up a bit small on the waist and I would agree. I'd say definitely go up just one size and I think you will really, really, um, really like these. And then next up, I did buy a couple of cardigans. Now, I am a bit of a cardigan convert, shall we say. I have been really enjoying seeing these kind of cardigans um, hit a lot of the high street stores. And yeah, they've really grown on me. So I saw this one from H&M, grey and black. I don't know if I'm loving this grey now I've seen it in person. Does it? Does this one just look too like grandma-ish? I don't know. Maybe it will look different on when it's been styled. I'm not sure, looking at this on the hanger. I'm not sure I'm loving it as much as I did online. It looks bigger than it did online. I swear online this looked a little bit more cropped and fitted. Um, I'm not sure if I'm loving it being slightly bigger. I did get my usual size, a UK size small, but yeah, I wasn't wanting this to be like a baggy cardigan. I wanted it more fitted and structured, but I'm not sure. I'll try this on and yeah, who knows, we'll see. Let's just ignore um, the fact that I'm wearing a high neck top underneath. It doesn't look great, but yeah, I feel like not all is lost. Now I've done the buttons up, I've left this one undone. I'm just going to tuck the top of this in and treat it as if it is a more kind of fitted, structured cardigan. Can you see the vibe I was going for? Do I like this? Do I like this or do I just think I like it because it, they're kind of on trend right now and Instagram is telling me to like this? What do you guys think? Let me, it's hard, it doesn't look great with this top either, but when this is just down on its own, Let's do this button up. Sorry guys, just keep looking. I mean, that just looks awful when it's just hanging loose like that. Let's undo the buttons. Yeah, I feel like if I have to convince myself this much, then it's perhaps just not worth it and perhaps just not quite the fit that I like. I've got another cardigan and I love the fit of that, so I'm kind of comparing it to that one. Yeah, I feel like I'm perhaps trying to just convince myself that I like this, but I actually don't think I do. And then finally, another cardigan that I definitely didn't want to be cropped or structured or fitted. How beautiful is this brown knit cardigan? Oh, I just love this. This basically looks like a socially acceptable dressing gown to wear outside of the house. I love the tie belt detail on this. I mean, to be honest, I'll wear this to work from home, chilling at home, but I love the fact that, you know, you could easily pop on maybe some um, faux leather leggings and some boots and wear this out the house, but it just looks so cosy, the perfect neutral tone to have in your wardrobe. I feel like I'm going to like this on regardless. I'm not too concerned about the fit, to be honest. I picked up my usual size small because it, I think it was classed as oversized on the website, but yeah, not too worried about the fit with this because if I'm not in love with the fit, I will still wear this around the house. I think this is gorgeous, but yeah, we'll see how it looks when I try it on. Sorry guys, I've had to scoot you around because the sun is um, really coming in now, but I couldn't wait to put this on. I've literally just thrown it on over the outfit that I um, had on for the previous item. This is great. This is honestly just great. 
it is what it is. It's an oversized cardigan. It's literally a warm hug in an outfit. I adore this. If you work from home, not even if you work from home, if you just love being cosy and snuggly and comfortable, this is the cardigan. This is the cardigan that you reach for instead of your dressing gown. When it's not quite acceptable to wear your dressing gown because it's 1pm in the afternoon, this is the outfit. This is the outfit. Wearing this just over some comfy leggings and a comfy t-shirt, it, it, it's just great. This is my new emotional support cardigan. We've all got one. This is my new one. And that is it, guys. That concludes my, probably my first proper autumnal slash wintery haul for this year. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what you liked. Help me with some of the pieces that I'm unsure about. Let me know what you would keep, send back. Again, I apologise for my slightly croaky, nasally voice today, but hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be feeling a little bit better. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. So please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.